हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल द टॉपिक फॉर टुडेज डिस्कशन इज जर्म सेल माइग्रेशन हेयर वी विल टॉक अबाउट जर्म सेल माइग्रेशन इन एम्फीबियंस बर्ड्स रेप्टाइल्स एंड मैमल्स सो लेट्स बिगिन अवर टॉपिक स्टूडेंट्स बिफोर स्टार्टिंग अवर टॉपिक let's understand few of the important terms related to this topic as we all know that all sexually reproducing organisms arise by the fusion of gametes that is sperm as well as ova and all gametes arise from primordial germ cells therefore the primordial germ cells or pgcs are the precursor of gametes and they are present in specific location in the embryo therefore we can say that gametes that is sperm as well as ova arise from pgcs and pgcs in future will form the respective gametes pgcs migrate to gonad and differentiates into progenitor population for egg and sperms moreover pgcs are unipotent and differentiate either into sperm and oocytes whereas in culture pgcs differentiate into pluripotent stem cells gametes and pgcs collectively constitute germplasm now coming to the germ cell migration in amphibians the germplasm of a neuron amphibians for example frogs and toads collects around the vegetal pole in the zygote so this is the zygote this is the animal pole and this one is the vegetal pole the germ plasm collects around the vegetal pole in the zygote during cleavage this material is brought upward through yolky cytoplasm so as cleavage begins the germ plasm migrates upward due to the presence of yolk cytoplasm and eventually becomes associated with the endodermal cells lining the floor of the blastocoel so ultimately this germ plasm becomes associated in the floor of blastocoel along with that of the endodermal cells the pgcs become concentrated in the posterior region of the larval gut so when larval gut forms these pgcs get concentrated in the posterior region of the larval gut and as the abdominal cavity forms they migrate along the dorsal side of the gut so with the formation of abdominal cavity these pgcs migrate along the dorsal side of the gut first along the dorsal mesentery and then along the abdominal wall and into the genital ridges so from dorsal side of the gut they migrate along the dorsal mesentery then to the abdominal wall until they reaches the genital ridges from genital ridges they migrate up to this tissue until they reach the developing gonads so ultimately the pgcs reach the developing gonads and start differentiating into the germ cells pgcs divide about 3 times and approximately 30 pgcs reside in the gonads these will divide to form the germ cells that is either sperms or ova these images show 
द होल ऑफ द प्रोसेस ऑफ जर्म प्लास माइग्रेशन इन एम्फीबियंस दिस इज द जाइकोट द जर्म प्लास गेट एसोशिएटेड टूवर्ड्स द वेजिटल पोल इन द जाइकोट एंड ड्यूरिंग क्लेवेज इट स्टार्ट माइग्रेटिंग अवर्ड्स ड्यू टू द प्रेजेंस ऑफ योग इन द साइटोप्लास एंड अल्टीमेटली गेट एसोशिएटेड विद द एंडोडर्मल सेल्स प्रेजेंट इन द फ्लोर ऑफ द ब्लास्टोसेल दिस अमेज शो द एंडोडर्मल सेल कंटेनिंग द जर्म प्लास दिस इमेज शो दिस वन इज द सोमैटिक सेल एंड दिस वन इज द जर्म सेल प्रेजेंट नियर द फ्लोर ऑफ द ब्लास्टोसील इन अर्ली गैस्ट्रोला एंड दिस इमेज लास्ट वन शोज टू प्राइमोडियल जर्म सेल्स अलॉन्ग द डॉर्सल मेजेंट्री कोनेक्टिंग द गट रीजन टू द गोनाडियल मेजोडाम and these primordial germ cells from here migrate to the genital ridges and to the respective gonads where they are differentiated into the germ cells or gametes that is either sperm as well as ova however in case of urodel amphibians that is salamanders the germ cell migration is little bit different or you can say that they have apparently different origin as they do not have any particular localized germ plasm in the salamander eggs or you can say that there is no specific location of the germ plasm in case of urodel amphibians therefore the interaction of endodermal cells which are present in the dorsal region and animal hemisphere cells creates the condition needed to form germ cells in the area where mesoderm involute through ventrolateral lips so in salamanders pgcs are formed by the induction within the mesodermal region hence it is clear that in case of urodels the pgcs differentiate from the mesoderm region which is quite different from that of the aneurons next one is the germ cell migration in birds and reptiles in birds and reptiles the primordial germ cells are derived from epiblast cells this is the image showing gastrulation in chick this one is the epiblast this one is the area pellucida and this one is the hypoblast so primordial germ cells are derived from epiblast cells that migrate from central region of the area pellucida to a crescent shaped zone in the hypoblast at the anterior border of area pellucida this extra embryonic region is called as the germinal crescent and pgcs multiply there so in case of birds and reptiles pgcs multiply in the area called as germinal crescent so here in this in first image you can see a germ cell of chick embryo showing the germinal crescent so as we know that in germinal crescent the pgcs divide and in second image this is of the thickened epiblast region showing the germ cells as we have studied earlier that pgcs in case of birds and reptiles arise from the epiblast region so now let's see how migration takes place in case of birds and reptiles pgcs migrate to respective gonads 
primarily by means of blood stream which is entirely different from that of aneurysms when blood vessel form in the germinal crescent the pgcs enter those vessels and are carried by the circulation to the region where hindgut is forming here in the region of hindgut the pgcs exit from the circulation and become associated with mesentery and migrate into the genital ridges like that of the aneurysms the pgcs of germinal crescent appear to enter blood vessels by diapedesis however there are studies that show that the migration of pgcs through chemotaxis as well so here in this image you can see primordial germ cell and here these are the primordial germ cells and they are moving out of the blood vessel by the diapedesis this is again a blood vessel and these are the accumulated primordial germ cells and by diapedesis they move out and goes to the respective genital ridges so lastly we will talk about germ cell migration in mammals here we will take the example of mouse embryo so in case of mouse embryos the germ cell precursor migrate from extra embryonic mesoderm back into the embryo by way of erentois the route of mammalian pgc migration from erentois resemble that of a neuron pgc migration after collecting at the erentois by 7.5 day in the mouse the pgc migrate to the adjacent yolk sac so after collection at erentois these pgcs migrate to the adjacent yolk sac by this time they have already split into two population that will migrate to either right or left genital ridge so how will they migrate from yolk sac to genital ridge let's see the pgc then move caudally from yolk sac through newly formed hindgut up the dorsal mesentery into the genital ridge like that of a neuron migration most of the pgcs have reached the developing mouse gonad by 11th day after the fertilization and during this track they have proliferated from initial population of 10 to 100 cells to 2500 to 5000 pgcs present in the gonads by day 12 so this much of proliferation takes place these images show the process of germ cell migration in case of mammals in first image these are the primordial germ cells which are accumulated in the erentois region on 7.5 day in case of mouse from erentois these primordial cells migrate to the yolk sac region so now the migration from yolk sac takes place to the hindgut region so in second image you can see this one is the hindgut this is the dorsal mesentery and these are the genital ridges left and right genital ridges so from yolk sac the primordial germ cells migrate towards the hindgut region then along the dorsal mesentery the primordial germ cells goes to the respective genital ridges and to the respective gonads this image shows the primordial germ cells at the junction near erentois and yolk sac 
and in the last image this is the dorsal mesentery here primordial germ cells can be seen migrating along that of the dorsal mesentery into the respective genital ridges so this is all about germ cell migration in case of amphibians birds reptiles and mammals thanks for watching stay tuned for more lectures have a great day ahead